email. And I hate my job. Johansson. FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. I think he'd prefer not to be pestered by the junior staff, of course. If you have a uh, question, I'll try to ask it for you. Next. Refetish. Relax, Pam. I, I had to move it, move the statue into another office. Oh, it told me to say hi. In keeping good with security practices, we have changed the code for area B2 to 2358. Effective immediately. I encourage all of you to change your email passwords. Blah, blah, blah. If you haven't done so in the next three months. Alright, cool. Pop a blood pack here. He. Oh shit! They're all there, aren't they? God damn it! You know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna do this. We're running really far away, really fast. Now we'll just do a sneaky sneak around here. Right over to the door. For fuck's sake. Alright, hold on. I need to do this fast. Two, three, five, eight. Shut the door. <laughs> Just don't come in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Shit. And we're gone. Whee! I really am trying to do this without killing anyone, and it's. Oh, shit. I need blood first before I can do any tricks. Right there. Ugh. Quick save here. I need this guy. Now, this guy has a key, if I recall correctly. How can I get it off him? Or can I, is the question. I don't know if I can. If I hysteria him? Oh, okay. Oh, that, that, that works beautifully. Sucker. <laughs> I didn't know hysteria would, would allow for, for something like that. What the fuck? <gasps> oh no. The sarcophagus has been stolen. I oh, yo, what's up, bro? Why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. 
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett. Why am I clapping? Where's the box? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this uncurrent sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Where's the box? Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. The G word makes my thoughts frightened. What is it? The old ones. Please tell me they're not real. Dot, 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 dot. Please? Two. That's one, that's two. The antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each bloodline or clan supposedly traces its origin to an antediluvian. Some say these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. You know, like vampires. <laughs> the G word makes my thoughts frightened. What is it? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. The Dark Father? Where? Tell me the other signs so I can peel my eyes. I want to disagree with you, but I don't know. I could give a damn about this stuff, I just need to find the sarcophagus. That doesn't sound Malkavian at all. I want to peel my eyes. What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. So, you know, like, books like Twilight and stuff like that. Okay, I, I can see where he's going with this. And what of the thin kindred? Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, thin blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Is there more in your mind? Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. <gasps> many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? I'd want to disagree with you, but I don't know. And the Dark Father, where is he? Cain, who I assume you mean, is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Seen old box around here? It's all I need. Oh, don't let me interrupt your progress. If indeed you've made some. My reason for being here is probably being bid on as we speak. Someone is certainly going to be surprised when they find out they've just paid a kingly sum for a desiccated old corpse. Hehehehe. <laughs> I will rediscover the old box. Here I go. Blah blah blah. Am I, I am gone. Stop being my shadow is all. And we are out. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and now I get to go listen to LaCroix being, I'm a whiny little bitch leader. All right. Off we go. Chunk. Oh, excuse me, uh. The crux mutters my name perturbedly. Send me to the sky as quickly as you can. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. The Croix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. 
Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I ain't guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. You will speak to yourself. I am already gone. No one likes you, Chunk. Ding ding! To the penthouse. Batman. Alright. You. Hold on. Hey, big man. So, hold on. See that chair right here? See this chair right here? Oh, I can't jump on a fucking source engine shit. Yes, haha, yeah, now you gotta run away, huh? You, you ain't so big now, are you, sucker? Hey, what up, Lucre? The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is a sound one. And that your decision was a byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Hmm, in my part. Oh, what troubles you, my prince? And the jester's hat. Don't forget that. More, more, more melodramatic soliloquies. Gotta love them. Applause. I, I prefer to. I prefer him with a jester's hat on. Then you can join the crows on the fence after we're done here. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that was shot in the high school. Given my humor at the moment, I hope for your sake you've brought back the sarcophagus. So at least that matter is under control. It was stolen, but there were lots of dinosaurs, so, you know, I had fun. Stolen? Y yeah, I, I stole, I uh, stole. Stolen? How? Who would? Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat! Damn, you mad? Gary Gary, this ma name means nothing. The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... Found. Mm. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city if it would fall into the wrong hands. Let me seek this Gary. First a dead man, then an old box, now a Gary. It's like a scavenger hunt. What's the sarcophagus worth to you? I might be able to find it. Good luck with that. I'm leaving. Adios. You never completed your task. I still don't have the sarcophagus. <laughs> yes, you do, but it's invisible. You can't see it, but it's there, so I can go. You will find the sarcophagus, because I already entrusted its retrieval to you before. And you failed to bring it back, did you not? A loaded task is... The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an Anarch named Isaac. As it's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Dot, dot, dot. God, he needs to catch a backhand. Anyway, I'm out. I want to go back to a home base in Santa Monica now. I want to see if we got any new emails or anything fun to do. Oh, come to think of it, I'm going to have to do... What's his name? The whole zombie thing. That's not going to be fun to do without celerity. Need a ride? Yes, you may take me for a ride. To Santa Monica... Now let's go. Alright, where am I? I'm over here. Okay. Yeah, the zombie mission is really hard. It was a lot easier if you have celerity. I was able to get it done on my second try with celerity. Like, I don't know if I'm even going to attempt it. 
in all honesty. Well, I might attempt it just so I can go get something else done, the, the other quest. But, for the most part, mm, that would just be a waste of everyone's time just watching me fail that over and over and over again. What's up, girl? I went fishing today, and I caught a big one. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. No, 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 no. Fish travel in schools. Where is it? I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. Good that it was here. Perhaps I may have torn into you, girl. <laughs> torn into you. Good girl. I already tasted him. He's delicious. You'll love him. Yummy. What's up? Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. You will do no such thing. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. You should go to the cops right now and tell them I've got a gun, piggies. That's right. You better let me go. I'm going to the cops as soon as I leave. You just wait till they hear what I've got to say. Whatever you say. See ya. I lost humanity for that? Really? Oh. That's upsetting. Oh, I, I remember there was something else I have to do downtown. Uh huh. I want to turn the TV on. A supernatural land, though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas where the crew was filming. Firefighters are trying to contain a flash fire in the Hollywood Hills this morning. Smoke and debris for paid favors. From Mercurio. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance, I'll set you up. Okay. Don't touch the butter! Nessie, you should work that sweeping the nation. Delete. But are advising a gambit. In the area to a gambit has a been played. The king leaves himself open from front. Yes, I hate cryptic bullshit. LaCroix, I have a certain interest in a restaurant in Hollywood. Oh, yes. Called the Cabanelli. I have made an offer in the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that their owners are remiss to accept. Except, is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon? Please intercept him there and make sure this review is unfavorable. Senator Limperman called the game's pornography and was offended All right, by cool so we, shots taken we got that done. We gotta go back to downtown now. Well, first, I'm gonna go stop by. Whatchamacallit, that place. Um. The, the fucking club. The, the. Um. Oh my. The asylum, that's what it is. I'm gonna get me a drink. Blood's a little on the low side. And we going around. And inside. What's up? I missed you. Did you miss me? Yes, sir, girl. What page was I on? Oh yeah, you. Oh baby. Oh baby. Upstairs to check up here. What up, girl? Hey, you. Hey, mommy's here to get a little more sugar. Dolly's like to be squeezed. Thank you very much. Before we go to Hollywood, we gotta go back to downtown. Alright, here we go. Hop in. Ribbit, let's go. To downtown. We gotta go hand that fetish over. Because that is a very, 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 very good item. God, I hate running into this place, though. It's really annoying. Ow, fucking my thumb. Ow. 
sent to me. I've grown used to masquerading as one of them and seeking something suitably feeble enough to cull from the herd. That's the first time I've had one delivered. Museum prize is the widow wished to trap death in her web. About the prizes you seek. Yeah, I got the prize. Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. It's an oily tangle and fleshy, of a fleshy blasphemy. Thank you. Another question. Yes. I'll let you. I'll let the widow finish her grim feast. All right, now let's get the fuck out of here. To get. Oh, there's the. It's a vent I can open, huh? Is, is this the vent? Oh, you can climb right up that. Oh shit. Oh, that works. Thank you very much. Alright, out we go. Alright, now they have to go to this right here. That unnatural sun or moon or whatever the fuck it is. Because that person wants to see me too. And inside, Vigo. He he he. Alright. So now we're in this house. But then I locked upstairs. We cannot go upstairs. No, no, no. Let's go this way. Anything in here? We have a book. Thou. Thou met. Magru. What the fuck? Oh, the gargoyles, yeah. All this is is that it talks about gargoyles, and I really don't feel like reading it right now. Public library card. Actually, I need that for later. Wow, I have $1,300? Jesus. Fuck, I am so much more rich than I was in my other playthrough. This room is a little crooked. You. What up? Sup, bro? Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Well, you could have just said, hey, come to this address, and I'd show up. And so give me the cryptic message, but whatever. Blood magic's a betrayal, and the true king upon his throne. Ah, a child of Malkar, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. The glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate. More than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence. To see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head, an iron crown, and the jester dances before you. Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this Chantry. Welcome. Chantry holds mystery for me. Regent is opaque and shadowy. Tell me of this dark city of angels. I am no longer here. Chantry still holds a mystery to me. A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. A regent is opaque and shadowy. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Reveal these mysteries, Wizard King. I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them are any you th further. Are you threatening me? Because we can go hands right now. I'll throw hands on you. I don't give a fuck. I'm out caving. Tell me this dark city of angels. 
Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Dot, dot. Alright, my memory is really a gift of, of the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Ah, Withered Horse runs among us. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. <gasps> doom! Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. The Anarchs have me searching for this prob problematic pestilence. Uncloud the Camarilla. May I mind your gray matter? Your soapbox is surprisingly small. Farewell. The Anarchs have me searching for this problematic pestilence. I see. Most disappointing, Neonate. You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. I am an Anarch, a child of entropy. I will not play your ancient games. May I mind your gray matter? What is it you would like to know? Uncloud this Camarilla. The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. One more thing. Of course. May I mind your gray matter? What is it you would like to know? What do you know about the Incarn sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What secrets lie beneath its lid? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air. Something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Scary. A dark shadow, a curious hair, and a pillar ablaze in the night sky. You seem to know more than I about these matters. I pray that your visions don't portend the end of us all. Alright, I'm no longer here. I'm out of here. Adios. And with that, everyone, it's time to go to Hollywood. Huh? Duff. No fucking way. No fucking way, yo. This guy's house is trippy as fuck. What? Oh, good. Okay, I can get out. Man, that guy's house. Trippy as hell, dude. It's got like three places you can walk in the house, and they all lead to the same room from the same angle with one entrance. Trippy! Okay. And we're gonna go over to Hollywood. Going somewhere? Yeah. Somewhere, elsewhere, anywhere. Let's go. Hollywood! seen you here before. And if I hadn't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. Is that so? That is my next stop. Doo doo parties. Look, a, wa a talking walking signpost. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. The town loves me already. Ha 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 ha. I don't wanna. Eh, you do. This game is fixed. Why not? Okay then. First thing we're doing is we're gonna go and we're gonna go get into the uh, the 7-Eleven here. Quick stop, whatever. The moon is out. Everyone's in dreamland. What's up, bro? You've tuned into the dark oh. night. Oh. 
Nobody Welcome to Red Spot, to home of the Monstro Chart. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. And hey, why don't you need help or something? Area code 323 what is this city hiding from me? Uh, from me. Humility? Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue Seriously. quite a while to speak to your You want some orange juice or something so to help you come down? Because, you like, you're uh, wigging. Uh, I seek only the blood of the living. Oh, uh, are you that you lawyer? You're going to have to talk to the manager, dude, to because, off, like, that sexual harassment case, you have nightmares I, like, don't even know, okay? No, and, like, no, no. It wasn't no, my you ass know. <laughs> As the killer that walks these streets bloodied his hands again, you cannot understand, so you do not know your error farewell. I want to know about his bloodied hands. Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Is the city of stars on fire? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night in the auditorium. No cover for chicks. We're going to ruin the place. Are, are there other situations I must place myself in? Yeah. You know, they the voluntarily eat insects in some countries. They don't let me in anymore, but yeah. well, damn. Those countries probably need Jesus. So, so you never sleep at night. Uh, I assume you do that, sleep, kind of right? What? I sleep at work. And I'll enter the volcano do? later. Uh, hey, you know, you yeah, should really ask me about the special, you know? Why? What is so special? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. I got this special where Let's you buy some really expensive burrito Color. tops or grape what do you juice. Do you get a I'm free Roger. weapon in your choice. Okay, though. and you what do you do, Roger? Here are my eyes. Show them your courtesy. So Jerky, you snack cakes, vodka, bullets. Medicine? One of these things is not like the other. Yo, keep it down. Yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Yeah. Well, just some outlines you know, right now, but they're really good ideas for some Clear my eyes. Show them your courtesy. Um, so, if you haven't really so we're gonna buy anything, how oh, can you baby. call yourself a writer? Because buy the I leather armor. my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Well, you see. Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? I'm going to pick up the sledgehammer. I think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by... Oh, I clicked off it by accident. ...you're not even trained to do. Um, well, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, Sell the bottles. Make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for the All right. I'm a personal assistant for a producer. I'm gonna go switch armor here. Parasite Studio. Perfect. You read a lot of screenplays. Yeah, baby. Precinct 69. Well, for a writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? Tell me, dude. Well, I want to hear this. Okay, so, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay, uh, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI, and, uh, he's got this partner who's new and really cute, but she's also a really good agent, and they're like assigned to this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, something happens, and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Okay, that guy's terrible. Like guy it's game over. He wasted all of our time. So we should go find him and kill him. Anyway, first we're going to go talk to, uh... I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> so my sense of humor is a little skew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. I'm sure it does. Me too, I could use a good laugh. Ha! We probably should go see Isaac before uh, things go bad. So we're just gonna hop, skip, and jump our way down. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh, Isaac! Let's go. What's up, bro? Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Your messenger spun me around and pointed me in your direction. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Your purpose is a mystery to the lunatic in your office. 
Um, does the A does the L A and Lacroix not stand for L A? <laughs> Introductions are accomplished. Game over. I wander somewhere. Your purpose is a mystery. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Dun dun dun! One is puzzled. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Oh really? This one is listening. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? I am your postman, your executor, I am your patsy. Patsy. Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? I will disappear and reappear. Item in hand. Then my questions are answered. This is done. But first, my mind wonders many things. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. <sighs> I must pick up your mail. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Okay, I'm home. I'm out of here. Come below this popsicle stand. So we're here. Oh. oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Help yourself. Get away from here. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll, we'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. Who is this? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Three blood for that? Holy shit. No, don't you remember? I'm your pet turtle from when you were a kid. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm your pet turtle. Sally? Holy crap. You got big. I'm sorry I flushed you. I thought you were dead. Nah, I wasn't dead. I was just asleep. So, what's it like to be a turtle? That's a lot like walking around the house, that, uh, being a walking house that eats lettuce. <laughs> Can I give you a hug, Shelly? I let you, but other turtles might start talking. You probably shouldn't. I'm swarming with salmon. Uh, other turtles might start talking. Well, it was nice seeing you again, Shelly. We should get together for the holidays. Call me, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> That's hilarious is what that was. You. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I'm not the one who waits. I wanted... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Justify your existence, devourer of souls. Many greetings I babble forth to you, stomacher of multi... to... multi to... to ding... to dinous ethnic dishes. Jesus Christ, that's a fucking word. Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you... Eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. I only have one finger for you, and it's not my thumb. As much as I want to do this.